Hi everyone, and welcome to my garage. Uh, my name is Tommy. You can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as Dynamite Trujillo. And this is not a knitting video. It's a video about roller skating. I bought roller skates. I did. I'm now a roller skater. Uh, and I'm really excited about it. Like, really, really, really excited about it. So I bought some roller skates. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what I bought. If you are here for roller skating, thank you for joining me to talk about roller skates. And if not, if uh, you're not interested in roller skating because most of the time my videos are about knitting and stuff like that, I totally get it. I will see you in the next uh, non-roller skating video. I don't know if this is like a thing. I don't know if this is gonna become a regular thing on my channel where I post videos about roller skating. There are um, roller skating YouTubers that like kind of regularly record videos about their progress as a beginner, of which I am, uh, and have been really into those. So of course I'm inspired to do the same, like weekly videos on uh, my roller skating journey, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm actually gonna do videos like that. We'll I'll tell you about some of those YouTube channels that I'm really into a little later. But I wanna show you my roller skates that I got, because they're beautiful. So I bought these roller skates by this brand called Moxie. And uh, they're the Beach Bunnies, which are their like, I don't know, economy model. Um, they, they, they make a couple different kinds of roller skates, um, most of which are like really expensive. These are the cheapest ones you can get. That's not to say they're cheap. They were also really expensive. Roller skates are pretty expensive apparently, which makes sense because they're pretty dang nice. <laughs> so, um, these are the Moxie Beach Bunnies. I got the light blue ones. They come with pink shoelaces and glittery pink wheels, right? So, huh, I just noticed that. Okay, so there's all kinds of stuff you need to learn when you start roller skating. Check this out though. One wheel, the other wheel on the same skate. That's not right, I should adjust that. <laughs> um, they arrived yesterday and for the past couple weeks I've been like obsessing over the idea of getting roller skates and kind of preparing myself for once I do actually get them. Uh, so I've been watching videos, I've been watching tutorials, I've been reading all about like how to roller skate properly and safely and stuff like that. I, I have a helmet already because I'm a bicyclist. So I have this helmet. And can you hear the motorbike outside? I have a motorcycle guy too, Kristen. So I also got these, I didn't have like knee pads or anything before, but I got this set of knee pads and elbow pads and wrist guards. And they have pink, so um, yeah, that's what I got. Um, these are really cool roller skates. I got the size four, which seems really small, but roller skate sizes are different than sh American shoe sizes, and they also vary from company to company. So I went by their like size chart, and I got the size four. I wear a size five and a half U.S. women's shoe, um, and they're very snug. But I think I think that's fine. Like they're supposed to need a break-in period. Like my toes aren't smashed, but there's definitely not like extra room. So whenever I see people like lacing up their roller skates on YouTube, um, they do it really tight. And I did that first when I first put them on yesterday when I got them. Um, they came actually at a really great time. Uh, I was about to put Lucy down for a nap, who was my two-year-old daughter. And that gives me usually about an hour and a half of um, me time. And they came the doorbell rang as I was walking out of her room, out of her nap. So that was pretty amazing. That's when I got to do the majority of the roller skating that I've done as an adult was during that one and a half hours. Um, and so when I initially put them on here in the garage, I laced them up really, really tight and they, it, they felt great at first. They felt like they fit perfectly. And then I roller skated back and forth, back and forth in the garage for quite a long time. And then it really started to hurt in the ankle. Um, so, it felt pretty tight up here. There's a, I have two, one's right here. It's balancing on me, so I'm gonna put that down. So there's a lot of padding right here, which is nice. Um, but this really digs into the back of my ankle. Uh, and 
I think I've kind of alleviated the feeling of it feeling really tight by just not lacing it up all the way. Uh, they felt really good. I did um, loosen some things. Like I'm, I've read that when you first get roller skates, you want to make sure the trucks, which is, I don't know terminology, but my husband who used to roll skateboard like knew all of this stuff. But these are where you loosen the trucks. And I guess that's the truck, I don't know. But so I loosen these, which kind of makes this thing not so stiff. It can like wibble wobble. I don't know what I'm talking about. And then uh, these are the, there's a bolt for the wheel right here. And so I loosened all the wheels a little bit um, because when they first come out of the box, they hardly spin at all on their own. And I think they're supposed to spin more like that, but this one I obviously didn't loosen enough. Or maybe I loosened this one too much. I don't know, figuring it out. Uh, but they're really great. I had so much fun practicing in my garage. Uh, I just, well, I cleared everything out. My garage floor is really nice and smooth. Well, I mean, kind of. And I practiced just going back and forth. I practiced stopping and kind of turning around and doing bubbles, which is where you go like this with your feet. Um, I, now I haven't roller skated since I was a little kid, but when I was a little kid, I, like the first sporty thing I ever remember doing was having roller skates and uh, we as a family, my family went to the roller rink a lot. I think it was like the Moonlight Roller Rinks, somewhere in LA, I lived in LA as a kid. So we went to the roller rink a whole lot and I had a little parking lot right next to the triplex that I grew up in where me and my sister would take our roller skates like all the time. So I roller skated a lot as a little kid. Uh, and it was weird when I put these on like I felt like instantly like muscle memory and Nostalgia like I just kind of felt like I already knew what I was doing and there's like this one Way to skate that I don't think you're supposed to skate like this like I don't think this is an actual way to skate but uh, Where like your one leg is kind of your one foot goes kind of straight and the other one kind of does half bubbles and that's how I remember I used to always skate. That's how I would propel myself forward. And that kind of instantly came back to me, which was weird because in preparing myself and trying to watch a bunch of videos on how to skate, like that style never came up, but I just started doing it. And I was like, oh yeah, that's I think how I used to skate. So I had a really great time. Um, I adjusted these a little bit. Like I said, they felt really snug. Um, so I eventually, I was wearing hand knit socks because I don't have any socks other than hand knit socks other than like really thick uh, commercial like hiker wool socks which I love wearing or like shorty cotton socks for wearing with tennis shoes uh, so I wore my hand knit socks and they felt too thick I wore my hiking wool socks and they were definitely too thick so I did go on the internet and I ordered some like really thin cotton socks that I can wear with this that come up above the boot. Um, but yeah, so I think that's gonna help a little bit. I also took the insoles out. They come with just some like little flat foamy insoles. Uh, and then they felt nice and roomier without the insoles at all, but like they're not meant to, you don't really wanna put your, like you could see the little like bolts and stuff in there. Like it's just not gonna be comfortable without insoles. So I went on the internet again and bought like the thinnest comfort insoles that I could find. So I think that's gonna be good. Um, and I think I just need to break them in a little more. But they felt comfortable. I ended up taking, out, taking them out on the street and roller skating around for like a half an hour. And they did feel comfortable once I brought down the laces and took the insoles out. So, I'm pretty excited. It's been so much fun. I kind of wish I would have filmed myself roller skating a little bit. You are not going to see any roller skating footage, right now at least, uh, because I'm not, I have to take a break from roller skating. Uh, so I went out yesterday to do like a neighborhood walk. So me and Colin, my husband, and my daughter Lucy went out for a walk. We go walking like every day. And Colin took her in the stroller and I put my roller skates on and I was like, okay, this is cool. Like I practiced in the backyard, I practiced in the garage. Like I feel stable enough to go just on a neighborhood street. So we went out to take a walk. I put my roller skates on and we don't have sidewalks on uh, in my neighborhood. 
on most of the streets. There are no sidewalks, but it's a, you know, it's a residential neighborhood little area. And the streets are pretty, I don't know, kind of smooth here and there, and they're kind of bumpy here and there. So I just went out. I figured it was a mellow thing to do. And uh, for most of the walk, it was great. I had a really good time. It was definitely like, took some getting used to, to like go from like one, one style of pave to another style of pave, you know what I mean? I was a little wobbly here and there, but I was doing really good. I felt really stable and I almost fell a couple times. I was wearing all my gear, but I didn't. I was able to kind of like save myself every time. Until, until the part where there was a sidewalk. I was roller skating on that part of the sidewalk, walking in front of Colin and Lucy. And on sidewalks, there are those things where driveways are, where it's like the sidewalk and then it goes choop, choop, just a teeny bit to where the driveway comes out and meets the street. And I'd gone over like maybe a dozen of those on this walk and it was always fine. And it's just a little, you know, just a teeny. And this one, I don't know what happened, but I fell. And uh, I do know what happened actually. I've thought about it a lot and I know how I could now prevent it. But I was roller skating and I was standing too straight and my weight was back. And what I should have been doing is had my knees more bent with my weight forward, especially going down a little slope. I should have been leaning my weight forward. But something happened, I got nervous and I started flailing. <laughs> and I tried to correct myself and I tried to prevent myself from falling. And what ended up happening is I was going down this teeny little slope. I flailed and my feet, my roller skates kicked out from under me and went up. And mid-air, I could tell something was happening and I didn't know, I didn't, I couldn't, I didn't have the time or the experience to process what I needed to do in that moment. So I was just like, I'm going down, don't know what to do, just gonna let it happen. <laughs> so I went down straight on my butt. I learned in preparing myself and watching videos beforehand, like the proper way to fall. And in the moment, because I didn't have any actual experience falling, I couldn't, it just, didn't snap, it didn't happen, you know what I mean? So I just went straight down instead of like trying to go onto either side. And what I did is I landed right on my tailbone and it was pretty shocking. <laughs> uh, it definitely hurt, but I didn't feel like it was that bad. And Colin was like, oh my God, are you okay? But you know, I sat down for a second and it, I, I felt like shook, you know? My butt hurt really bad and I, I brought shoes just in case in the stroller, just in case I didn't want to roller skate anymore. And he's like, do you want to put your shoes on? Are you okay? And I was like, no, I'm going to try again a little bit. So I got up and I kept going and I started to slowly realize like, I feel kind of actually hurt. So I ended up stopping, putting my shoes on and walking the rest of the way home. And my butt just felt so sore. And uh, for the rest of the evening, I, I, re I realized I did actually hurt myself, so I didn't do anything. I had a bunch of plans that evening and I didn't do any of them. Just laid on the couch and iced my butt. And also my shoulder, I have an old horseback riding injury from the one time I went horseback riding and I didn't know how to go, horse I didn't know how to horseback ride. I messed my shoulder up really bad. It took like years to actually really heal and I felt that like flare up after yesterday and I was like, no. But so I iced my butt and my shoulder. <laughs> Um, and kind of hope for the best for today. And today, I it's still sore. I totally, I, I think I probably just like really bruised my tailbone. I, Colin says if I broke it, I probably would know it was broken. But even if it is broken, like there's nothing you can really do about it other than ice it, rest it, um, and take it easy and not sit on hard surfaces. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. I am now just looking longingly at my skates that I can't use. I did try to put them on this morning. I just put one on and I was like, oh, but no, I'm not roller skating until I feel better. Uh, so yeah, I have like a little tailbone injury now from my first like time out on my brand new roller skates. So that was dumb. Uh, you know, you just kind of can't help but feel stupid. But oh well, it happened. And now, you know what, I feel like I'm kind of better off for it because 
now I have the experience of falling like that and I think maybe the next time something like that starts to happen I'll have a better g mental gauge of like how to make my body move to fall better I don't know whatever experience I guess but yeah so today Lucy's at her grandparents house I had really big plans today of practicing roller skating and dyeing yarn and I'm not doing any of that today I spent all day in bed um, watching more <laughs> roller skating YouTube videos like roller skating YouTube videos have completely taken over my like knitting podcast time I haven't watched any knitting podcasts in like forever and I miss it but I'm just I'm getting sucked into the roller skating thing I did watch a really great uh, roller skating documentary today called roller dreams which uh, was made in like 2018 and it's about the beginnings of roller skate culture in Venice Beach, California and how intertwined it was in the black community in that area at the time and essentially the overall idea of what happens in the documentaries it's about the whitewashing, it's about the gentrification of Venice Beach uh, through the lens of black roller skate culture. And uh, it was really good. It was really sad, but it was really good. Uh, I, like I said, grew up in Los Angeles and going to Venice Beach all the time was something me and my family did. Um, so I have pretty strong ties to Venice Beach. Um, and that was back in the 80s and the early 90s when we used to go a lot when I was a kid and when I was roller skating and like I remember this stuff happening there and it was really It was just a really good documentary to watch. So I don't know When I get back on my skates, which hopefully soon it's gonna be as soon as I feel better. I'm not gonna push it I don't want to like Do myself harm in the butt area More so than I have to so I'm gonna wait till I get better and then I'm gonna get back on my skates and I think I'm gonna film stuff and maybe um, put this little video together with some of that footage. So I don't know when this is gonna come out. <laughs> Sometime after I get back on my skates and can film myself a little bit skating. Cause I was looking pretty cool before I felt like, I'm not kidding, I was looking pretty cool. I was doing like bubbles. I was like roller skating backwards. It just like all came back to me. And then I got too confident and ate it. All right, I think that's it. I want to put my foot back in this thing. I'm not going to though. I'm not going to. Oh, I wanted to tell you about some YouTube channels. There have been two that I've been really enjoying. Um, one is somebody named Evelyn Ivy. She's got a really great YouTube channel that is currently documentary documenting her beginning journey of roller skating. She started in January of 2020 and has been putting out a weekly video ever since of how she's been progressing and um, she's amazing. I really like her. Uh, the other one that I just watched the first couple videos of is Gracie Vegan. Um, I watched her first couple videos. She put out kind of the same thing like this is my first day roller skating and she made a video and then she made her second day video and her second or maybe it was the third day video uh, was really <laughs> nice for me to watch because it was her falling in the same way that I fell. So it made me feel not quite so stupid and I watched she like filmed herself falling and then like the aftermath of the fall pretty much like her trying to like get up and like see if she was okay and it really mirrored like how I felt when I fell and like the slow process of me realizing that I actually messed something up um, so that was actually really nice to watch but those are pretty much the two I've also been watching a lot of the moxie uh, roller skate moxie roller skates YouTube channels like tutorials and stuff um, so those have been good do you roller skate? I would love to hear about it. I really, really, really would. Um, I think knitting and roller skating is a really cool like intersection, like cross section of uh, worlds. I know there are at least two other roller skating knitters out there because uh, these two people I saw roller skating on Instagram and it was definitely part of my inspiration to kind of get back into the idea of roller skating again. And uh, 
Nina of Brujeria Lana. Uh, she roller skates and she's amazing. And uh, Susan of Knitlib got roller skates kind of recently and uh, both of them are pretty badass. So I know there are at least three of us and I know there's a lot more. So if you are a roller skater, I want to hear about it. I want to hear about your epic fall. I want to hear, did you fall your first day of roller skating and injure yourself? I would love to hear about it. Um, Cause I know I'm not the only one. Okay, I'm gonna leave you there and hopefully I will see you on the flip side with some roller skates on my feet.